Hey guys, Molly here, boudoir photographer from Wisconsin and founder and creator of Boudoir Marketing Camp. Now, one of the number one questions I get asked from you guys is, Molly, how do I create time to have more time to actually work on my business? Because I know a lot of you guys are trying to go from part-time photographer to full-time photographer, which is awesome. So I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to get more done in less time and then how to create more time into your schedule. So the number one tip is, and I know you guys are not gonna love this one, but my number one tip is that you have to create work hours. So even if you have a full-time business, you still need to create work hours outside of that if you're trying to transition from your one full-time job to photography full-time. And you're gonna have to sit down and talk to your family about it. You're gonna have to sit down and say, listen, these are my new work hours because my goal is that I wanna go full-time with photography. I wanna transition and this is the only way that I'm gonna make it happen. So my new hours are I come home from work, I hang out with you guys, we have dinner together, we put the kids to sleep and then I work on my business for two to three hours, whatever that looks like for you. I just made that schedule up. I do not have kids, but I just want you guys to see kind of an example of that. Or maybe it's every you know Sunday after 4 p.m till midnight you're working on your business, whatever that looks like for you. But you absolutely need to set work hours or it's never gonna get done. If it's not on your calendar, it's not gonna get done. And most, most importantly, you need to sit down with your family to tell them about your new work hours so that they can be supportive of you, so they're not interrupting you, so that they can maybe you know, take the kids out so that you can have time to focus and work. The next thing is having a task management software like Asana, A-S-A-N-A, -A -A, which is free. And you need to say, okay, during these work hours, I'm gonna get X, Y, Z done. And that's gonna help you know what to focus on, know what to work on and get more done in less time. And the last thing that I want you to do is start tracking your time. So every time you work, I want you to write down what it is that you're working on so that you can take a look at that and see, okay, I was distracted by Netflix or by Facebook Messenger or all these different things. And then you can shut that out of your time that you're working so you can get way more done in less time. Or maybe you need to hire an assistant or whatever that looks like for you. That time study where you write down what you do is gonna help you find that. So to recap, I want you guys to set work hours and talk to your family, use Asana and create um, or keep a time study for at least a week or so to see you know, where you're getting distracted or where you could be more uh, productive. So comment below productivity to let me know that you guys like this tip and tag any of your friends that you think would enjoy this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks guys. Bye.